Hey guys, going to show you very quickly something about Warpin and Ableton once again. Different genre of music this time. We're going to take, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just losing my voice here. Curtis Mayfield, move on up. Check the beat grid out on this thing. And also notice too, it's 3 minutes and 39 seconds. We've already lost the beat grid. So we have absolutely zero beat grid there. It keeps jumping back and forth in and out, but it's, you know, it's a live drummer. What do you expect, right? Now, I've done the same thing over here with Ableton. A couple differences you're going to notice. On the one side there, we have... 3 minutes and 39 seconds. Over here we have 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Right? Um, my BPM is different too. My BPM is at 144.24. And I could change that in Ableton if I wanted to. I just I didn't bother fixing it up because I'm going to synchronize and change it around anyways over here, right? So let's check that beat grid out on this now. So far, so good. And he's still perfect. Okay, I don't need to play the whole song, I'm sure you get it. So I'm going to show you, once again, I'm going to pull up in Ableton. So all I did for this song, let me just get over here and... So I'll tell you just how simple this was. Ableton, you're gonna hit play. So, ah, stop that. Doing things with the trackpad sometimes can be a real bitch. Watch where we stop it. So, what I did is because this is this one over here. Let me just get a little closer here. Turn off this crap. So you get a little bit more room. There we go. As you can see. See where the one is here? What I did is that, that I want to get because the beginning of the song starts off kind of a little bit funny, right? So I just kind of want to make sure I've got like the good beginning of a loop. So that way, from right there, I just went in there. That yellow line wasn't there. It was like so. I went like this. I right clicked. I told it to set one one here. The other thing I did too is sorry, god damn this stuff. And there I changed it from it was on beats, I changed it to complex pro. Once I got this one here, did a right click on it, pull up, and just told it to warp from here.
So if I want to now I have that 144, I'm gonna go in there, tell it to be one 138. to be 138 up here and let's hit play see what happens hear the metronome okay so then went up there made sure that's all highlighted like that and it would probably be stretched like that. So I need to stretch it out to make sure we grab the beginning of the song as well, too. I go up to File. Get a little closer here for you guys. And then I export the audio. I can go in here and... Hmm, I guess we could chain crack that right up, the bit depth. Why not? I haven't typically, but I'll do it on this one. And then that's kind of the way that I name things myself, just because it... I know it's by Chris Mayfield, it's moving up, and I'm going to change the, call this 138. BPM. And you know something I could start doing, seeing as a tractor does it for me. I take a peek of a tractor, that was a 3M. So, you know what? I'm just going to put in here 3M. You never know when I want to search it. And it goes through all that nonsense. Clearly, this is an i5. If you have an i7 quad core, something crazy, it's going to probably rip through this a little bit faster. And we are done. So then I would just simply open up Tractor. I would take a look at my desktop. And sorry, I don't see it on the desktop. So you right click. Sorry that the gains are too high on the camera. But there's a spot in there that says refresh right at the top. Refresh. There's my new one. I'm going to drag that into there. Tractor will analyze it. And and what else is interesting too is when I saved it like that, if you notice the waveform is a lot bigger. Not exactly a good thing because you see how like it kind of cuts off like that. I'm not an audio engineer or anything, but that waveform just doesn't look like it's good. But you get the point. You know, I did one that was fine. I think uh, switching up to 32 bit, maybe that cranks it up or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll do another video explaining that one of these days. Anyways, that's been nine minutes. Jeez, we're getting way too long to the videos. No one's stuck around this long. And if you have, give it a like. So at least I know you people are sticking around trying to learn something. Anyways, uh, there's some of the gear. I'm going to get this bastard running again sometime soon. Using this now with Ableton. And, um, yeah. Talk to you guys later.